We all just need to know, we need to figure out how to set up the AI for our clan boss teams. The most common clan boss team with the unkillable is the bat eater. We're going to go over that today. I'm going to show you exactly how to set yours up so that you can auto it forever. Let's get into it. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and man, this is a very important video I'm recording today. Um, if you found this helpful and enjoyable, hit that like button for me, it really helps. And uh, what we're gonna talk about today is number one, my clan boss team, but number two, the AI that goes with that, okay? So for the clan boss team, a lot of people use a very similar team with the double man eaters, okay? And to go one step further than that, I would even say that a lot of people use the double man eater seeker pain keeper plus one damage dealer, which is known as the bat eater composition. Now, if you are watching this video because you have bat eater built, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? But if you have a different clan boss team you can still use these ideas and these concepts in order to set up the ai on your team okay because everyone's clan boss team is different and you want your clan boss team to do different moves at different times and that can make a huge difference on the amount of damage that you are putting out it really can so let's come in here to ultra nightmare and I have uh, basically screwed up my team on purpose um, because, so I don't want to delete that team because, okay, good. So you can actually mess with the first slot, but it takes some effort. Like if we put these random people in here, um, you can't move them around like you normally would in every other area of the game. But let's say that I really want Lydia to be first. I can just click those off um, and, then, and then add them back in there at the end or wherever you want them. And the order that you put your team does definitely matter. Okay, and my clan boss team, I use Bellinor as the lead. He has this wonderful crit rate aura, which is perfect for clan boss. And if you have a crit rate aura, that could be really helpful for your clan boss team as well. Next up in my team are the two man-eaters. And after that is Pain Keeper. And lastly, you want to put your Seeker, okay? Seeker has a passive to where you're going to get an increased defense buff, okay? If you put him in the last spot, then he will put his defense up very last, and you will take more damage. The reason why that's good is because of some of your masteries. Okay, if you have those counterattack masteries, you can get some extra hits in there. After you have your team um, slotted in there, you're going to choose this like slider. It almost looks like an abacus. <laughs> but you go ahead and click that. And then you can decide what abilities you want to do for each of your team. Okay? So, um, let's see here. Bellinor's AI is perfectly fine. Um, he is going to prioritize the defense down and weaken. Um, he doesn't do that. And then usually he'll do his A3. I guess we could skip his A3 and just switch back and forth between these two. I might have to try that. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave his AI as it is. Okay. Your first man-eater, and you can see the stats over here, okay? This is my slow man-eater, so we want to talk about the fast man-eater. The fast man-eater, we want him to put up his unkillable right at the beginning of combat. His AI is going to do that. So the fast man-eater, which I have at 265, he can just stay as he is. The second man-eater needs to prioritize his... A2 right here. He needs to prioritize his A2. So the opener and the 
first thing he's going to do. I don't know if we need that. I don't know if we actually need both. Just like that, okay. Um, his uh, opener needs to be this, and then the rest of his AI is going to work properly, okay. On his second turn, we want him to put up the unkillable, and that's going to allow us to stay unkillable for the whole time. Painkeeper is really the one that you need to mess with here. She needs to do this as her opener and her first choice, that A3. And then she needs to do her A2 as her second priority, okay? Because the first turn, she needs to do the combat tactics. And then the second turn, she has to do the spectacular sweep in order to keep everything in line, okay? And this is particularly important on Nightmare and Brutal as well. Usually I would go in and I would manual the first two turns in order to make sure she did this ability, okay? And then we're going to hit save. And then we are going to back out. So we're going to come in here. We're going to make sure that this is checked. Because if it is not checked, it will not load the team. And then... You will have your old team AI, basically. That's what happened to me the very first time I did this. Okay, and if I were for some reason to want this team, then I would check that. If you have maybe more than one version of your clan boss team, for me, this is a Doom Tower team um, and not a clan boss team at all. Okay, I want this to start on auto because I know that I don't want to do anything. I want to come in in the morning, hit auto, say go. Now, um, we'll go over a couple more things in a, in a second um, as soon as I make sure that we clicked all the right buttons. Painkeeper did her move. Uh, Maneater did his move. Maneater 2 did his move. And now we need to make sure that the second Maneater puts up the unkillable and Painkeeper does her sweep. Perfect. Okay, so the last couple things that I want to mention here is, remember, you actually have four turns that you can program the AI, okay? So you have your opener turn, and then you have the first, second, and third, you know, usually things that they will do. Depends on the number of abilities, okay? And so keep that in mind. I think you should be able to program the AI for any clan boss team, but like the... The slow double man eater, you have to manual like five and six turns. So I think that there's a way to do that, but I haven't done that firsthand. Um, I will be trying out the AI on a clan boss build later today on stream. Um, I think this will be uploaded uh, before I go live, or maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, either way, um, I'm building clan boss teams on stream all the time at twitch.tv slash mtgjedi. And if that is of interest to you, you want to come hang out, we have an absolute blast over there, and I'm always available to answer your questions. So if you need help setting up the AI of your team, or you want tips and tricks on how to get more damage out of your clan boss team, like my one key here, a one key ultra nightmare, then please come on over or ask me in the comments below. Um, I need help with this, this, or this, okay? And I'd be happy to assist you know, my favorite part of the game is helping people, and I feel like I have a, a pretty good knowledge base in order to actually help anybody out who needs it, okay? So, that's all I need for this quick video here, guys. That's how you set up the AI. Now it's going to run. I can come in here on auto and just hit go. Um, that will work with this setup on Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, and Brutal for you guys. And you will have to do a slightly different composition for hard. Um, basically, you need to delay everything by one turn. Like the first man eater does his A2 instead of his A3. And then he'll get a second turn right away. Um, but that's a story for another day. Okay, most of you are not hitting hard anyway. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but hard would have a different AI setup. So... Let me know, did you set up the AI on your clan boss team? And what clan boss team are you using right now? And are you happy with it? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't want to keep you any longer. Have a great day. Come hang out on Twitch or take a look at some other videos. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I probably have an ending. There we go.